Hey, guess what, guys? Uh, well, I'm deaf now, but we got another KMFDM haul. Uh, I just got the mail. I made a video, like, not two minutes ago, and uh, I ended up going outside for a smoke. Found the mail. Bunch of shit that I ordered came in. So, first of all, we get this. The uh, Symbols album shirt. And, um, all right, let's separate this. All right, so to go along with that, we get the KMFDM pill bottle. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, so this is, <laughs> this is where I keep my weed. <laughs> Sorry about the air horn. Uh, yeah, we got a ton of shit going on here. We got uh, the Vogue single. Like I said. Which has uh, Sex on the Flag. Got Split Apart. The, um, the version of that song that I really like. And that's got uh, Split Mirrorball Mix. The version that I like better that song. Uh, another cassette we got, we got the NDFMK cassette, which, um, it's got Robert Rouser, Witch Hunt, Witch Hunt is a great track. Um, Get Out of My Head, another great track, um, which is like more of a Lucia track. That was, I think, where she started to, um, find herself in the band and like really because like nowadays you have you have Sasha tracks and you have Lucia tracks and I think that was like the first one where she really just like let it all out not in an aggressive way but in like kind of a chill way uh, and then you have now is on there. Um, this is cool because I liked this album and it was weird because I didn't have the information at the time. Like I didn't know what was going on with KMFDM. I've told this story like a million times. Like, I, I found Stray Bullet on somebody's iPod and then I got into KMFDM so um, this was new to me. It's not new to me now, but it, it, this whole album was new to me when I first found it. And I have it on CD. But, um, it was like, it, it was a different time for me. They took a hiatus after, uh, Columbine. And uh, they decided to do this, and uh, so it was, you had Sasha, you had Tim Scold, and you had Chase the Pharrell. And, um, they made this album, and it, it was a fucking amazing album. It's, it, it's different, but anything, like if I listen to Pig with Raymond Watts, I consider that came at the end. Anything, any, any like member of the band that does something different, to me it falls under the guise of KMFDM. And that's sort of wrong of me, but that's just the way that I think. Everybody thinks different. Uh, right here we got the uh, virus single, which is an amazing track, and, uh, we got Virus, we got More and Faster, we got Don't Blow Your Top, and we got High and Gale, all amazing tracks, um, this is pretty cool, because the, um, Founders of Wax Tracks Records 
both passed away. Um, and I could be wrong about this, but I believe they both died of AIDS. And um, I remember they did a radio show, local college radio. Um, they did like radio shows, you know, highlighting some of the stuff that was produced from Wax Trax Records, some of the old classics. And that was really cool. And uh, so, I mean, if you're looking at KMFM songs, I don't think Ministry did anything really. Um, I don't think Pig did anything. I'm, I'm not sure on that, but that track, Virus, from me is uh, about that shit. And that sucks. That sucks that we lost like two producers who were like invested in uh, pushing industrial music out. I mean, you take a band like uh, Ministry, maybe they had a couple albums that were on like Warner Brothers or something. It's not their fault. It's just that that's kind of lame. But you do what you have to do. I mean, if you're a musician, you have to make choices. You you have to figure out how you're going to get your fucking album out. And some people have to resort to more commercial means. The virus is, uh, this is, I think this is kind of hard to find on CD, but if you'll go listen to it, just, it's on YouTube, you know, it's free, nobody's asking for money, um, go check it out, it's a good track, check it out. You'll, um, if, you, if you're a fan of industrial music, you'll get the reference pretty quickly. You'll understand what they're doing there. Uh, this is What the Fuck. Yeah, right? What the Fuck. It's actually, this is actually a great album. Um, Crank, I wasn't like a huge fan of. Um, not right away, anyway. But, like, once you start getting into the album, because keep in mind, like, came up the used to have, like, this whole different atmosphere. And then, um, once they started, like, this five-piece band that was solid, Sasha stole everybody from Pig, <laughs> and then Lucia joined. <laughs> and that's only a joke. But once it started doing that, it was like a completely different band, almost. Um, so Come On, Go Off was like pretty sick. And then Rebels in Control was obviously fucking, <laughs> fucking balls. Lynch Mob was, was alright, you know. And then you get into like, Take It Like a Man. A Lucia track. <laughs> that song is fucking dope. Viva La Mort was dope. Dystopia was dope. <laughs> it was just dope. <laughs> Panzerfaust, I didn't care for it like that much. Um, it was kind of cool though, like, you know, it, obviously Amnesia was a huge track, and we're, we're going to get to that right now. But yeah. I don't know, th this was a pretty fucking awesome album. I would, like, this over, um, say, like, Kunst, I, I would take what the fuck. It's so interesting because every album they have is such a diverse amount of material. 
So you can either be into it or not, but you still respect the band. And um, following that, because Amnesia is off of this album, I have the Amnesia single on CD. And uh, there's a track on here called I Love You, which is kind of cool, a little extra. And then I, oh yeah, here we go. The reason I got this in the first place is because of the uh, Come On, Go Off, Rotor Sand remix. And if you're familiar with Rotor Sand, I don't know why it says remix and not rework. Because they usually, usually it's always Rotor Sand rework. And that's how they like brand themselves doing remixes. So, I, don't, I got that, and that's pretty cool. Um, there's any cool artwork in here. But yeah, I basically got it for the Rotor Sand remix because I, I like collect Rotor Sand remixes of things. There you go, urgency, emergency, insurgency. Said in the song, you know, oh, this is off dependent. See, so, yeah, I would have thought this would have been uh, Metropolis or like at least um, came at the end. Oh, that's kind of cool. Dependent is uh, another reputable industrial uh, record company. They put out a lot of good shit. Um, here it is, folks. I never thought I'd own it, but here it is. Extra Volume 2. I, I had such a hard time finding this, and then I looked it up, and I actually found a copy of it, and I was so excited. I was like, I have to buy this right now. So excited about it. And the thing with these extra volumes, oh god, I can't get the book right out of here. There you go. A little more of a metropolis for you. But the thing with these extra volumes is there's all kinds of cool pictures and shit. In the booklets, and I like that because a lot of bands don't do that. They, all right, like here you go. There's always cool shit in there. All through volume, they were still do more. They should do my. They should do a volume four, volume five. I'm just going to put this out there right now. I love this band. This band has done more for me than my parents have done for me. Alright? If that doesn't say enough, then I don't figure it out. This is another cool one. So, this is Trust and Juke Joint Jezebel. And it was on Wax Tracks. It was released on Wax Tracks, TBT. Um, but I had never heard of this. And I ended up finding it. I typed in Came at the M Rare on eBay because, you know, I want to get like an asshole because I want to get like rare stuff from them. But this is the uh, Trust and Juke Joint Jezebel single. So it's a pair. And it's got some cool artwork by Brute. Here, let me try to hold it up correctly. And uh, you got the album version of Trust. You got the Trust Never Mix. Juke Joint Jezebel and Metropolis Mix. Glory, War and Slavery Mix. Lust, Chem Lust Mix was in. That's a fucking good version of Lust. Uh, and the move on Scott Burns remix. So there's a lot of cool stuff on here. Um, I don't know why I'm even mentioning that because it's probably like impossible to fucking find. 
I happened upon a copy, and I was being the fan that I am, and I was like, I gotta grab that. <laughs> I think it was like 20 bucks. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff here. Um, the other thing is, uh, oh shit, yeah, we got a little more. We got, we got a little ways to go here. So I got the attack shirt. Get the whole thing in there. Volunteer to the ultimate system of life. Learn my words. Shit's good though. I have like 30k MFDM shirts at this point. Including this. <laughs> yeah, this was wearing another one earlier when I was making a video. I haven't opened this yet, but. It's uh, with the no Dutch. Finally got that CD that's like the one that I've been waiting to get. I might not even open it because I've already heard all the tracks and they're available on YouTube. So, <laughs> zip. Yeah, zip. <laughs> Don't get you. <laughs> This is a good album. It was like back when they were just fooling around. They were just like playing around with sampler kits and shit. And that's fucking awesome. And like I said, when you order from them, did, did I order this? This little money postcard? No. <laughs> did I order this? No. They have two of them. Did I order this postcard? No. <laughs> they just like... I, it probably depends on what you order. They just send you some extra shit. It's fucking cool, man. Yeah, that's gonna do it. But, uh... Another KMFDM haul. There, believe me, there will be more. Because I already put an order. <laughs> some other shit. So, um... That's it for now, but we'll see what happens. And I promise, next time I won't use the air horn. I just got excited. <laughs> it's like, get out of there. <laughs>